Good morning, students and all members of staff. Welcome to the new academic year 2020-2021. These are indeed unusual circumstances and I certainly did not expect to be welcoming you all back to school in this manner. Girls, despite the many uncertainties as we go forward, I wish to assure you that all members of staff remain committed to ensuring a stable and productive learning experience while simultaneously prioritizing your well-being. I urge you to work with your teachers as they too navigate these uncharted waters and remember that they too face their own personal constraints. I know you were looking forward to being together with your friends at school once more. Regrettably, this is not currently possible. I encourage you though to keep in touch with your friends, support and look out for each other and maintain your Naparima sisterhood. Even though we are physically apart, we remain united as the Naparima Girls High School community. With God's grace, one day soon, we will all be together again at our school. As you are aware, Mrs. Gosain retired in June 2020, and I have been performing the duties of principal. Additionally, Mrs. Karen Bolaram Kisun has joined me in administration and has been performing the duties of vice principal. I invite her to address you at this time. Good morning. I wish I could welcome you in person, but as you all are aware, our circumstances have changed and we are in very different times. Virtual gatherings and assemblies are now the new norm. The pandemic is having a very significant and trying effect on all of us, not only Trinidad, but globally. We are now forced to become innovative and creative and to embrace change. Although our school building is closed, the community of Naparima Girls is open, and we are still here to support each other and bond together remotely. During this time, we must exercise empathy and understanding and show compassion for each other as each person handles things differently. It is important to remember that you are not alone with this disruption and together we will get through this. 
as this too shall pass. In closing, I wish to thank all students for taking part in this online learning and continuing to treat each other with respect and compassion as you would in face-to-face -face interactions. Please be safe and let's make the best of this doom. As it's customary at Naparima, we begin our day with devotion. This will be done by our school chaplain, Reverend Karen Kelawan. Good day, and today we come together at the start of a school year, a school term, asking God to step into our midst. Yes, as a chaplain, it's a difficult time. I'm coming to you from your home, and you are listening to me from your home. And it's a difficult time, yes, for the beginning of a school term is going to be different in this new normal, yet still we have to do it. So I bring to you two readings, one from Ephesians chapter 4, and it says in verse 2, With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, come, come. And yet still, God is speaking through First John. And First John chapter 4, verse 18, says unto us, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For here, fear has to do with punishment. And who, whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Let us just bow our heads in prayer. Let us pray. Speak, O God, in the stillness of our hearts and in our minds, and let the word of God come alive. Hear us, for we pray. Amen. So today, yes, as I have said, it's a new, time, new term that is beginning, and you probably are home watching me in your pajamas or with no shoes on, because that's how most of your classes are going to be. You're going to be at home. You're not going to be in your school uniforms in its perfection and glory. You're not going to be on the hill that we call Na Prima Girls High School. But rather, you are going to be that Na Prima Girl at home learning and developing your skills as a human being. It's not easy. And it will not be easy. I do not intend to tell you it will not come with its hurts and pains. In fact, some of you all know that my background is psychology. And from the psychological realm, a lot of people during this time will be going through anxieties, will be going through fears. But there's something that, in fact, many people aren't paying attention to. And that is something that we go through within our minds, which is guilt. It's a feeling that actually engulfs us and, hurt and brings with it pain. Why? Because we feel guilty. We feel there is loss. There is a feeling of remorse, almost as if we have lost something. There's a feeling in our hearts of grief. Grief not of the loss of a loved one, but rather grief of losing control of what we naturally know can occur. And the word of God speaks to that. It speaks to not just grief. It speaks to pain and fear and anxiety. And it speaks during this time saying, remember the grace and extend the same grace that you have received unto others. And approach the fear and the anxiety with godly wisdom. I know that you're going to be learning virtually. But the godly wisdom that God wants each one of us to have is something that you have to delve deep in that you may strive. If you feel fearful, if you feel anxious, if you feel pain, even if you feel grief, you feel as if you've lost some part of you, do not let it win. Let God push you through. Let the wisdom of the one who speaks push you through. Your teachers are going through a difficult time too. So just as Paul says in Ephesians, be patient. Extend grace. 
bear with one another. It's not going to be easy. Understand that the one thing that we want happen is your learned experience. To the parents that are listening, please understand that this is new too for the teachers and the administrative staff. It's not normal. In fact, it, will, it was never normal and it will never be normal. In fact, the society we live in is going through a vast changing system. And what the pressures we know are girls and students to go through, I pray that you do not put as parents more pressure on them, nor the institution, but bear with them, work with them, be kind to them, and let love and grace be your banner. Today, as the church comes and prays even from home for your daughters, I pray that you will do so in your homes and you will pray for your teachers, your administrators and all else. To the teachers who are listening, I pray blessing upon you, grace and wisdom. Wisdom to know what to do and how to do it. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us just bow our heads in prayer. Let us pray. You, Lord God, will work wonders in our lives. So come, and as the academic year 2020 to 2021 begins and opens, let all students, teachers, and administrative staff be blessed, and let the shining glory of Christ be in their hearts. Come, Lord God, and open unto us the blessing of God the Father, of God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, in Christ's name, amen. As I tell my congregations virtually, I want to remind you, stay safe, stay sane, keep your minds in the depth of wisdom, and stay under the sun that is Jesus Christ. Blessings to you all.